Hey guys, what's going on? Eric here, bringing you guys some more D2 content. Today I'm bringing you guys 500 Chaos Runs. I know this video is long, so I'll keep this intro short. I found six Primeval Souls, I found 57 Essences, I found 87 Shards, and approximately 12 High Runes. I also found seven Grand Charms from Diablo that I plan on re-rolling at a different date. These runs averaged four minutes, they were recorded over the course of 10 days, and I had approximately 400 Magic Find. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you guys want to see more from me, subscribe to my channel. Let's watch the runs. Starting things off with a 12 game drought, Diablo finally drops a High Lord. The very next run, I find a snazzy 2 3 Fire Lizard. The streak continues on run 15 with a high rolled non eth Gavel of Pain. Once again, the next run, some decent 220 Passive Gloves drop with Mana Leech and Cold Res. The streak died on 17, but on run 22, an Eth Zerk base dropped that I later cubed into garbage. Four runs later, a Venom Lord drops a poorly rolled Guardian Angel. On run 31, the first of many Frosties drop. These rolls aren't too bad. The next run, I find a belt that evaded me the entirety of Season 1. I wish the FCR were higher. A Merce staple drops 4 runs later with a G-Face. Run 39 teases us with a unique ring, but at least the carrion rolled with 10 faster run walk. Just 10 runs later from the previous arachnid, Diablo drops yet another one with low FCR. Some haunches drop a few runs later. The first noteworthy rune comes in the form of a cham rune. The run is capped off with two pieces of the IK set. I actually found a couple 13 res GCs during these runs that were nice to have at the start. Not quite a cham rune, but I'll take half of X any day. A couple runs later, I find my second favorite green helm. This one has perfect damage reduction. On run 57, some anti-perfect mana regen mage fists find their way into our inventory. The unique jewelry teasing starts with a ring. Of course, it's a nagel. A little later in the run, this unique amulet turns out to be a low rolled Saracen. I don't find a ton of useful small charms during these runs considering how many I ID'd, so this one's decent. A couple runs later, I find an amulet Dabrunsky's been looking for. On run 64, this ugly ass Moffine drops a mediocre Wraith Flight. Wish it rolled higher. The run improved when this increasingly popular Ohm Rune drops. A few runs later, the first main set piece drops with Mavs Armor. I ended up finding three of these. On run 72, a little itty bitty teeny rune drops. It's so cute. Diablo let her drop some shitty laying of hands. Why even drop anything, Diablo? I get a double drop from Diablo on run 76 with a really high ED non eth Reapers, plus an IK belt, which I found four of during these runs. The next run, I find yet another 10 faster run walk, Carrion. The streak continues on run 78 when a Tal amulet is found in the sea of Tangrids and Angelics. A few runs later, I find a pointy poke that a wizard dropped. I ended up finding three total. After a seven run dry streak, Diablo drops Nat's Helm, Akira's, and a decent Demon Horn. I found some Frosties the next run that could have been better, could have been worse. Ooh, a Lidless. Plus one. A few runs later, Diablo drops some more traps with a depressing amount of magic find at 36. Run 100 starts off with the Tal Orb lacking plus two to fire skills. Later I find a low rune and consider stopping there with such a good drop to button the runs. Based on the length of the video, you can tell I kept recording and found my grandfather from my mother's side. Followed by a plus two lidless. Unrelated. 
The next run, I find another pair of Mage Fist. The streak continues on run 107 with another pair of gloves, some mediocre laying of hands. After 10 runs and finding nothing, I'm rewarded with some war traps, which roll 36 yet again. The run got even better when I found a perfect stamina SC to help with my constant stamina drainage. Virtually any Geet is better than my current, yet I still managed to find ones with worse rolls. Speaking of bad rolls, check out this anti-perfect res Aki. At least it's plus 3 to source skills. On run 125, I find yet another plus 2 Lidless. You'll love to see it. Five runs later, I find a mediocre Grizz Armor. Ended up finding three total. The next run starts off with a mid-rolled Viper. Later in the run, I find my first ever 140 plus laying of hands, finally. The only pair of Mav gloves that drop come on run 134. Bull rune. The next run, I find another Pole Rune, and by Pole Rune, I mean Eth Titans, which are totally different. After nearly 20 dry runs, I just wanted an excuse to show a drop, so here's a shitty Widowmaker. A couple runs later, the drops don't improve with this low rolled Bariza. Apparently, this 15% Cold Ormus sitting on my mule has value with 3 sockets. I should probably slam it. The next run, I find a decent Dual Leech Ring. Later in the run, I find a sword that brings the doom. Doom stands for boys to the yard. On run 171, I find the first of many Mav belts that drop during these runs. Ended up finding 5 plus 3 fire magic amulets and they all slammed poorly. Yet another Ormus drops with a useful skill. This time, it's fireball. The next run, I find my first alder whip. I found 4 of these as well. On run 178, I found some Marls on the way to the Sanctuary that later went on to my Merce. Later in the run, I find Mage Fist number 3. A few runs later, I find this gorgeous plus 2 Valor. Man, this thing is friggin' cool looking. Another useful small charm drops on run 184. This one has 7 MF. I'm curious what the logistics are to create gloves out of vampire bones. Seems tedious. A few runs later, I find some titans that instantly get donated. It took me 193 chaos runs to find a skiller. Think about that. It blows my mind. Gurks really lost its allure when they nerfed the damage reduction. Still pretty cool. On run 199, I found a decent Saracen. Still, the first 100 runs were much better. Moving into the 200s, I find another Carrion, but this one gets donated. A little later, I find what has avoided me all of Season 1 and Season 2 up until now. Finally, a Stone of Jordan. Hoping for an Azeroth, but getting a lightsaber. This is the way. A cute melee small charm finds its way into our inventory on run 206. A couple runs later, I'm reminded they buffed Steel Carapace, but this rolls plus one. Not long after, I ID this horrible Raven. The next run, I find my second Skiller. This time, it's a Summon GC for the Necro. A backlog of Skiller drops seem to be occurring since I find a Trap GC a couple runs later. The first of three IK boots drop a few runs later. Five runs of nothing, then I find Trang's armor on run 220. I found five of these total. The very next run, Diablo drops Trang's helm to go along with the armor. I only found one of these. Yet another plus two lid this drops a couple runs later, along with some nearly perfect chances. Thanks, D-Man. Ended up finding three pair of alder boots, but these rolled perfect fire res. The next run, the first of seven Tau Helms drop. Please stop dropping them. 
Also, is it too much to ask for my Verdungo to not be F? On run 230, I find my first Nightwing on PD2, and it rolls pretty decent. And nearly perfect Crow Cod drops on the very next run. A poor man's 32020 drops a little later. The streak continues on 232 when Diablo drops a nearly perfect Lyric. Now four ones in a row finding something noteworthy, this time it's an Istru. The drops continue into the next run with a mediocre non eth Reapers. The Sheik dies and is picked back up on run 237 with a very useful Life and Fire Res Grand Charm. On run 241, Diablo drops a solid Nitrous Oxide Bell that I later sold for a Vex. A couple runs later, I find some really solid Soul Drainers. The hype died with a Gold Find Corruption. Run 246 starts off with a Dwarfy. A little bit later, I also find a Cursey. Oh yeah, I'll take a Malrone. Thanks, man. The next run, I find a Maestri Skiller in a pile of bones. The next drop comes from a Stormcaster when they drop a pretty decent Nagel. Another 7MF Small Charm finds its way into our inventory on run 253. A few runs later, I find yet another Dwarf. I have yet to corrupt something good on one of these. The next run, I find a poorly rolled Alder's Armor, which unfortunately is the only one to drop. And Atmos drops a couple runs later. I think this could be best in slot if I had more res. On run 260, I find a badass melee grand charm that makes me want to make a whirlwind barb again. The next run, I find another useful grand charm. This time, it's a shadow skiller. A couple runs later, a shadow killer falls just short of greatness with a plus three shadow skills roll. Another two runs, and Diablo drops a mid rolled tooth throw. For some reason, I'm showing you an Alibaba. I think it's because I haven't found shit in 15 runs. Another 12 runs go by, and I'm sad to say this unique phase blade isn't in Azeroth. The next run, a Mothine drops a crappy string of ears. On run 294, Diablo drops a satisfying 5-5 lightning facet. That's good stuff right there. Moving into the 300s, I start off by finding a bow GC. The run finishes with Diablo dropping another solid laying of hands. Seven runs go by until I find a sexy F gaze with 19 damage reduction. A few runs later, I find some Nats boots. I found one other pair during these runs. The next run, I get excited to find my first legendary mallet on PD2. Yep, it's a stone crusher. Eight runs later, I find the only towel belt to drop during these runs. I also find a decent trap skiller with five decks. On run 322, this asshole has the audacity to drop this shadow killer. Of course I forgot to turn off my face cam frame when a Sir Rune drops. I'm such a nublet. Alrighty Diablo, you've redeemed yourself with a perfect skilled Karen shard. We're cool. The next run, I find Amaro and brick it three seconds later. Good times. Run 336 was weird because it starts off with a 238 Medusa, followed by a cold faucet, followed by some frosties. Eventually, the game drops a Wraith Flight, and I forget about making a cold source. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. No way. Try again. Uh, maybe? Maybe this time? N nope. Mm -mm. What if you go around... Alright. A couple runs later, my Merce stabs a Vex out of a monster who owed us money. Another couple runs, and the game drops a gold wrap with good MF, but anti-perfect gold find. On run 343, I'm reminded that I don't have enough time to make another gold find barb, but I have the charms. 
Mm, pole run. And a G face. A few runs later, a Venom Lord was kind enough to drop a 19 life, 8 poison res SC. A grandfather from my dad's side drops a couple runs later. I also found a grandfather sword. Damn, um runes are freaking cool. Run 355 was a fun run. My first burr of season 2. The very next run, I pick up some perfect damage to demon laying of hands. Sometimes RNG rolls in my favor. Seven runs later and the best of two BK swords to drop rolls with 321 ED. Not bad. Even with the buff damage range, this death cleaver rolled poorly and non F. Couple runs later I find dwarf number 37 or 38, I've lost track. The next run I find metal grid number 2. I found more metal grids than puzzle boxes. On run 371, I find another Malamute. Seven runs later, a perfect res Kira unfortunately rolls horrible negative res. On run 380, I have another chance of a Geeds upgrade. Yep, dog shit again. A pulley pull rune drops on the next run. Another seven runs go by before finding this sick melee large charm. A couple seconds later, I also find another G-Face. A levy with mid-rolled stats drops from Diablo. Reminds me of my Zealer days. The resin proof from the last Aki I found, but even with the buffed floor, I still got plus two. The double drop from Diablo starts with mediocre water walks. This non eth horrible ED Reapers was instantly donated. Closing out run 400, I find a nearly perfect Nats armor. I found five total during these runs. The home stretch 100 run starts with the Warcry GC. Yet another Reapers drops on the next run, but even with the slightly improved damage, it's still non eth. Another Nos Bell traded for yet another Vex Rune. On run 410, I find another Um Rune. You can never have enough of these. I'd take another SOJ Diablo. No? Just a carrion? Ah, thanks I guess. Think this Geed will provide an upgrade? If you guessed yes, you guessed wrong. Six runs later, I find Istrun number two. A little later, I find another non eth Doombringer. Ah, <sighs> run 424. I've now found more Boo Runes than Puzzle Boxes. I also find an um rune later in the run. The next run, I find a perfect melee charm for a druid. Four runs later, I find a cold GC that I instantly traded for an ist rune. I find mal rune number three on run 431. Later in the run, I find some nearly perfect water walks. The next run, I find a Verdungo. This time it's non eth, but the rolls are comically horrible. On run 435, Diablo drops some plus 4 T strokes and mid roll DD. The next run, Diablo drops another plus 2 Snow Clash. Another Zealer memory comes in the form of this Heaven's Light. I really wish it were eth. Dwarf Star number 746 drops from a Stormcaster. At least it has perfect life. The streak continues on run 441 with a gold wrap. Yet again, the next run I find something useful. This time it's a combat skiller for the pally. The streak dies, but five runs later I find some IK gloves. Oddly, this is the only pair I found. On run 449, I was finally able to corrupt my SOJ. Five runs later, I find my first crown of thieves of the season. Later in the run, I find my first haws of both seasons combined. A 
few runs later, I find another decent small charm with 16 life and 7 fire res. On run 461, an interesting drop comes in the form of an Eth Flame Bellow. Is this useful? The next run, I find another unique amulet. This time, it's a mid-rolled Saracen. Um, rune number 3 drops on run 465. Later in the run, I also find another 34mf Nagel. The next run, I find another string of ears. I ended up corrupting 10 castrate on it. So dumb. I finally found a solid skiller on run 474 with a 39 life martial arts GC. Run 48 wants me to make a gold find barb when the game drops a 10 GF SC. Later in the run, Diablo drops a gold wrap. Horrible rolls. The next run, I find yet another Nagel. This time it rolls poorly. The streak continues on the next run with my third plus two Snow Clash. Four runs later, I find my first Shaco of the season. They're never 5DR. A few runs after that, I find another decent melee small charm for a Druid. The next run, I find my second Tal Armor of the season. Yet again, it rolled 90+. plus. My Dladeless Luck runs out when this one rolls plus one. Four runs in a row now with useful drops. On run 492, I find pull number five. The streak continues the next run when I find another 7mf Small Charm. Five runs later, I find a mid-rolled Storm Shield. Later, Diablo drops a mediocre Bartox. The last noteworthy drop comes on run 499 with a high ED Mavbo. This was the second to drop.